Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So uh, I'm going to ask you two questions, and as as a clue, you don't always have to use L'Hopital's rule in order to find your limit. So uh, so work out the limit of this as x tends to zero from the right hand side. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, uh, remember sine x is approximately x uh, near 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 x equals zero. So as uh, as you approach um, as you approach zero, you can consider sine of x as x. You can consider this whole thing here as x. So now you've got natural log. Take away natural log. So the limit here is is actually zero. Okay. So if you get a graph plot and plot this, the limit will be zero. All right. Next question. So find the limit of this um, as x tends to zero. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, you you don't always have to um, you don't always have to use L'Hopital's rule. You can times top and bottom here by uh, by the conjugate of this. So multiply top and bottom. Hang on, let's go back here. Um, you don't always have to use L'Hopital's rule. So here times top and bottom by the conjugate of this. So that will be so times top and bottom by root uh, a x. Plus a squared, and then and then instead of minus, you plus a. So so you're timesing top and bottom by the exact same thing. Root a x plus a squared uh, plus a here. So now uh, this times this, uh, the the two square roots will cancel each other out. So but basically this times the multiply this whole thing out. And multiply this thing here. It will then give you this. It will then give you. It will then give you this. So, so what we've done here is we multiply top and bottom here by the by the conjugate of this, uh, and then and then if you get this times this, it will then give you this, and then this uh, times the conjugate that will then give you this. So we are now at this stage here. Um, the two a squared here will cancel each other out. Uh, that will then give you this. And then divide top and bottom by by x, so that would then give us uh, that would then give us this. So now um, now uh, now nothing breaks down as x tends to zero. As x tends to zero, this thing here will will tend to zero. So uh, so this thing here disappears, leaving you square root of a squared. That square root of a a squared will uh, will be a. So here you've got another a here. That would then give you two a. So, um, so the limit is a half. Okay.